his peace, his goodness is eternal and wonders never see. You are just, O Lord, and your judgment is right. Treat your servant in accord with your merciful love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to this Eucharistic celebration in preparation to this. Let's all close our eyes and join our hands. Let's recall all our sins. And ask pardon from him because he is going to come down. All the things that prevent to recite Jesus in our hearts to be removed. Or to make the path straight and clean to welcome him. So let's remember all our sins and ask pardon in preparation to receive him. And on with that, we offer all our intentions and especially the people who would special, especially celebrate their special occasions today, the birthdays, wedding anniversaries, and some of the treatments. Everything we offer up unto the hands of God. Let there be blessings of God in our lives. And we pray, I confess, I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that have greatly sinned. sinned. In my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my, in my words, words, in what in I have what done, done and in what I have failed to do, to through, my my fault, fault, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, I ask Blessed Mary, Mary a virgin, all, virgin, all the angels and saints, and, to and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, chapter 1, verse 24 to chapter 2, verse 3. It makes me happy to suffer for you, as I am suffering now and in my own body to do what I can to make up all that has still to undergo by Christ for the sake of his body, the church. I became the servant of the church when God made me responsible for delivering God's message to you. The message which was a mystery hidden for generations and centuries and has now been revealed to his saints. It was God's purpose to reveal it 
to them and to show all the rich glory of the mystery to pagans. The mystery is Christ among you, your hope of glory. This is Christ we proclaim. This is the wisdom in which we thoroughly train everyone and instruct everyone to make them all perfect in Christ. It is for this I struggle verily on, helped only by His power, driving me irresistibly. Yes, I want you to know that I do have to struggle hard for you and for those in Lydosia and for so many others who have never seen me face to face. It is all to bind you together in love and to stir your minds so that your understanding may come to full development until you really know God's secret in which all the jewels of wisdom and knowledge are hidden. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our response will be, in God is my safety and glory. In God, God is, is my, my safety, safety and glory. In God alone be at rest my soul. For my hope comes from Him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. Response. In, in God, God is, is my, my safety, safety and, and glory. glory. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust Him in all times. Pour out your hearts before Him, for God is our refuge. Response. In God, God is, is my, my safety, safety and, and glory. glory. Kindly rise to the gospel acclamation. belongs to me listen to my voice says the lord i know them and they follow me you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory, glory to you o lord. lord chapter 6 verse 6 to 11 on the sabbath jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach and a man was there whose right hand is withered the scribes and the pharisees were watching him to see if he would cure a man on the sabbath hoping to find something to use against him but he knew their thoughts, and he said to the man with a withered hand, Stand up, come out into the middle. Put it to you. Is it against the law on the Sabbath? Sorry, he came out and uh, stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I put it to you. Is it against the law on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil? To save life or to destroy it? Then he looked around at them all and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was better. But they were furious and began to discuss the best way of dealing with Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. The words of the Gospels may our sins be wiped away. 
the brothers and sisters sometimes you know uh, when we go to some of the houses to have the food and all some people who come with us uh, used to make some comments on the food maybe we go to have some food in the uh, house of a poor person and for example if you take some fried rice or anything of that sort according to the financial status there will be less amount of cashews kismis dry fruits and all those things in that food you know even after filling the jar up to the brim the so called stomach i've heard some people telling oh the food was good but spices were less or the cashew were less and uh, kismis were less or the chicken peas were less you know how we perceive the things are very important we don't find what is the heart or the goodness of those people who supplied the food to us in today's gospel just look two perceptions one whether jesus is going to perform some miracle and the concept behind such kind of thinking is this you need to get something to accuse jesus the mentality of the pharisees and the scribes secondly how jesus looked at this thing is it lawful on a day of sabbath to do good and evil everything god decides in the matter of good and evil but you know the pharisees find it as a miracle or just a work of god just as a work but jesus looking whether it is good or it is evil we often you know should have this mentality we should have this mentality like you know everything you have to take in the uh, in the aspect of good and evil other than whether uh, there everything was fulfilled or not or we should never be too much legalistic alone but rather you know uh, jesus has already explained actually he was not against that law of the sabbath but he was against the interpretation given by the pharisees to that particular law even he has cleared it have you ever heard in another gospel that david ate that offering bread that was only permissible for a priest to eat and jesus said that was a necessity at that time and nobody blamed him you know he broke the law but you know that was a necessity you know out of the goodness when we have that perspective of seeing everything from the part of goodness you know we'll go beyond the law and jesus already told the son of man or the human being is beyond the sabbath law is made for man my dear brothers and sisters let's see everything from the perspective of good and evil other than so much of you know assuming into ourselves a kind of legalistic mentality around this has to be done this particular way this has to be done in this particular way when man was helping the other person as a cow a cow trespassed into his plot and you know in a hurry in order to save the property that the plants or the precious trees that were uh, there in that plot this man had to uh, jump or or bro- break the fencing and get into and he saved that plant that farm but the owner gives case against this man for breaking the fencing without looking for what he did too much only looking at that particular act without seeing the goodness or the evil behind it god is inviting you be good be good so in today's gospel or in today's holy mass we pray for this grace lord give me the grace to discern what is good and evil to perceive the things in the in the perspective from the perspective of good and evil
us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands the praise for the praise and glory of his name, name for, for our, our good, good and the good of all his church. holy church. Let us pray. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although we have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit is for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let's proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, George, our major archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, especially on all the intentions that today your people offer to you. The people who celebrate their special occasions like birthdays, wedding anniversaries. We pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, are pleased you throughout the ages. We remember it to be coheirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. To get the goodness of God, to possess the goodness of God, that perception, that perspectives in our lives. Let's all call, to, call unto him, a Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven and hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread. bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. And graciously grant peace in our days, but that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let me be parted from you, brother. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But, but only, only say, say a word, word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. So much to be consoled as to console, oh, oh, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace, where there's despair in life, let me bring hope. darkness, only light, and where the sadness ever joined. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the living God. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and pursue the goodness. Yes. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. My soul proclaims the Lord.
Divine Retreat Center presents to you a collection of spiritual masterpieces to enrich your journey with Jesus. How dear are you to those who know you? What is your true value? Discover how God looks at you. In this bestseller, You Are Precious to Me. Life could have led you to several challenges and failures. Have you given up on yourself? Presenting to you the empowering truth of God's word that we are more than conquerors, sure to give you that winning difference. Are all religions equal? Presenting the new release In Search of the Absolute that presents a critical analysis of this philosophical question. Life is a rich experience of the providence of God. Green Pastures, Still Waters is a collection of spiritual reflections that reveal how the shepherd leads us to the great promises of peace and fullness of life. The church invites us to contemplate the saving love of God presented in the passion, death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Divine offers moving meditations that will lead you to look to Jesus in the way of the cross. No greater love is a compilation of spiritual reflections that points out to us the incomparable love of God and the daring response of being Christian. When life seems impossible, God offers the Holy Spirit, power from above, a compilation of scripture-based reflections to help us understand and experience the promise of the anointing. 